Okay, of yours, this battery's been on the DSL fader well over 24 hours. So now, yeah, I've been noticing this, these two cells are they getting bloody hot. I can barely hold my hand on that post, it just burns. It got really, that's very hot. Too hot for my liking, so I think these two cells could be too far gone, but I did a test this morning, these come up fair, and these just said recharge, so. But these cell photos are working so far on these cells, but these two are too far gone. So I'm going to do another electrolyte test. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's making funny bubbly noises, so. I think his battery's probably too short, those cells could be shorted. But these ones here are holding charge. I'll go get some water, wash my hands. And I'll go get my multimeter and we'll do a test. Okay, viewers, I'm going to start from the positive side, which is this side. There we go, it's floating. It's just on the borderline of saying that it's fair. So, yeah, it used to be all the way up here, if you can remember my previous video. Now it's actually come down to the fair line. So, the diesel fund has actually worked on this battery, but this battery is probably too far gone. Ah, uh, I can smell hydrogen, so I better be careful that need a lot of spark. That cell is nearly good. <laughs> 1,275. That cell is basically fully, fully rejuvenated nearly. Another couple of hours, that'll be good. That cell is a little bit, a little bit the same as that one. So yeah, it's coming up, starting to come good, but as I said, this battery might be too far gone. The glass is hot from the acid. <laughs> Too much. It sticks to the sides, so I have to be careful it doesn't disrupt the readings. There, that one there, starting to come good. It's on the verge of good and the border between fair. Whoops. Spilt some acid. Yeah, I think these two cells are shagged. They have not budged at all. They're just extremely hot. I think they're shorted. So, this battery would have lived if these two cells weren't shorted. But, nah. This is damn hot. The acid's just heated up the glass that quick. Virtually boiling. Yeah. Cells are shorted, unfortunately. So, the desulfide did fix the battery, but these two cells here are shorted, which is stopping these from holding their charge, so... It's these two cells that let the battery down. Voltage check. Volts. Okay, we go to... Try and do this with one hand if I can. Yeah. 12.13 volts. Those two cells there have really let the battery down. Let's see what's answer I've got. It's actually, it's actually done better than before. The battery did do better than what I thought it would do, but... Yeah, it's just those two end cells and negative plates are, are, are ruined. 4.65 amps. <clears throat> so, yeah. The diesel fitter did repair the battery, but as I said, it's these two cells here that are way too far gone. So, yeah. I don't think it's going to crank an engine, but it's just going to, it's just too hot. It's very hot on this side of the battery. It's too far gone, but yeah. That's my conclusion on this battery, and as I said, it did actually, the battery is actually charged. But, it's just these two cells here, as I was saying. So yeah, it did actually live, but, nah. Plausible, but not really. So yeah, thanks for watching.